Asking that we will take our positions before we can begin. It is good to be in the house of the Lord this morning. The bad weather should not be an excuse. Our, our spiritual uh, love for God should not be measured by the weather outside. We should be love, we should love, our love for God should be the same throughout. Whether in hot or in cold seasons. Amen. So we are thanking God for having enabled us or having given us breath this morning. David said that he was glad when he was told to go into the house of the Lord. Likewise, the same to us. I'm also confessing the same that I'm glad to be found in the house of God this morning. I, I believe that that's also your prayer. Amen. Amen. So as we are allowing others to settle down, uh, we, are, we, will, we will then follow by, by praying, to, then we, we, we invite the choir. Amen. Amen. So we shall pray. Tom. Jehovah Lord God Almighty, Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless your holy name for who you are, King of Glory. You are the great I am. My Father Lord, you are the same yesterday, today, and even Lord in the days to come. You have never changed, my Father. Those that things that you did, Lord, in the past, you are still able, Lord, to do them, Lord, in our days. The miracles, Lord, that you performed, my Father, Lord, you are still able, Lord, to perform them, Lord, in our days, oh, my Father. And, Lord, we are still able, Lord, to experience, Lord, your joy. And, Lord, we are still able, Lord, my Father, Lord, to experience, Lord, even, Lord, your faithfulness, oh, my Father. You are good, my Father, Lord, and you are gracious, my Father, Lord. Your mercies, Lord, indeed, are new every morning, oh, Lord. And even, Lord, this morning, Lord, we are experiencing, Lord, your new mercies, oh, my Father. My Father, Lord, you are, you are all good, you are sufficient, oh my Father, and Lord, you are gracious, King glory, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for having loved us, Lord, unconditionally. You are next, Lord, for of going, Lord, to the cross to die for our sins, oh my Father, who you ne who never deserved to die, oh Lord. My Father, Lord, you died, my Father, Lord, to take our place, Lord. You, 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 our death, the death, Lord, which was reserved for us, oh Lord, you took it so that, Lord, we may live. We may live, Lord, a life of hope, my Father. Just because, Lord, you loved us, oh my Father. We thank you, Lord, and we bless your holy name, Lord. We honor you and we lift your name, my Father, Lord, for this morning, Lord, for you are a great God, oh my Father, Lord. As we want to begin our service this morning, we want to lift your name, oh Lord, King of glory. We you take, Lord, your rightful place, that, Lord, you shall move, Lord, mightily, Lord, in this service this morning, Lord. That brother, that sister, Lord, who may could be, Lord, ailing in the body, my Father, Lord. We pray, Lord, for your spiritual touch, oh Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. That too, Lord, is low in spirit, Lord. May you lift them. The one, Lord, who seems discouraged, my Father, Lord. We pray that, Lord, you will encourage it, my Father. And that, Lord, they will be no, they will be able to know and realize, that, Lord, that, Lord, it is good and safe, Lord, to be at the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, and bless your holy name. We live your name, my Father, Lord. We pray all this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And amen and amen. And now, it's uh, my joy just to invite the worship team. Just to take us through. Um, Worship you you welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. We bless you, Jesus. We bless your name. We give you praise. So we just uh, stand up on our feet. As a uh, the Lord is going to help us in this session um, today. He's mighty and he's awesome. So I just want to welcome us to journey together to the place where our flesh cannot glory anymore. To the place where um, in the realms of the spirit, the place where we can access healing, renewal, the place where we can access um, the glories of the Lord. Amen. So just um, we just want to thank God for the for, for everything that He's doing into our lives. Thanking God for 
this month even as we continue and now we pray that our as we gather here this morning we just want to lift up his name and tell him that he is Yeshua he is Yeshua he is Yeshua tell your neighbor Yeshua Yeshua, Yeshua is his name Yeshua is his name. he is our leader he is our guide he is the reason we are gathered here this morning so just open your mouth and just tell him thank you tell Jesus thank you thank you Jesus thank you Father thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Asante, Juan. Asante, Jesus. Asante, Jesus. Asante Yesu, Asante Bwana. Asante Bwana. Asante Bwana. Asante Yesu, Asante. Asante. Asante Yesu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for your name Lord. Thank you Lord. You are the invisible image of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for fighting for us. Thank you for waking us up again. Thank you for the things you are going to do in our midst Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Thank you Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Oh, plead your blood this morning, Lord. We call on the name of Jesus. Yeshua, when you call you, you hear us. When you call you, you answer us. We have this confidence, Lord, that when you call on your name, that when you pray, we have this stamina that we worship you ask in your name, Lord. Whatever we ask in the name of Jesus, according to his will and power, he hears us. He hears us. He hears us. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 65 that to you he has prayers. Every flesh will come. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. When we call you, you will ask. Yeah, sure. When we call you, you deliver. There's no name, no name greater than yours. There's no Help me 
Unafanya mambo Unafanya mambo ambayo Wanatabu wawezi kufanya Unafanya mambo Unafanya mambo ambayo Wanatabu Wanatabu wawezi kufanya Shall I was 
kazi hadi vizazi vya kufahamu wewe imba na mimi ulie mungu akali congregation sing together na ulie mungu aleo kazi zako kazi zako nourishing them how many are being nourished hallelujah anytime you come in the presence of god anything is possible so you better be ready hallelujah hey oh some god oh some god mighty god mighty god oh some god oh some god mighty god mighty god oh some god oh some god Mighty God. Mighty God. Lift up your hand like this. Lift up your hand like this. Fanya Ivi. 
projection we are waiting for the words Some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, oh, some God, oh, some God, mighty God, mighty God, we give you praise, we give you praise, mighty God, mighty God, we give you praise. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. We can scale higher and higher. Thank you. All right, take your seats. We know very well that we are also on Facebook. And we know that uh, we are on YouTube. And we have various ones watching from all over. Now, we've not been having children going to their classes on Sunday. Sunday school. And uh, I think it's high time we begin to have our children attending their Sunday school classes. So do we have children around? Let's see children where you are. Stand where you are. A child, your child, stand where you are. Watoto wote simameni mahali muko. Okay, do we have the Sunday school teachers with us? Are they somewhere? Sunday school. Sunday school. And ushers, we want you to help us after prayer to lead these children to their classrooms. I want us to pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we are so grateful for giving us the children that we have. Lord, this would be the first Sunday even to have their Sunday school in session. So we are praying that, Father, moving forward, you will help us to know how to empower these children. To the glory of your name. 
Bless them, bless their teachers. Protect them as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now children, once again, lift up your hands. Children and your teachers. So, Ashas, can you kindly help these honorables to go to their classes? So from today we will be having, I know today we don't have many of them, but since the schools are open, there's no need, I mean, there's no reason why we should not have our Sunday school with us. Very well, so let them attend their classes. So, I want us to carry on with the service. And today, we want to go to the book of First Chronicles. Welcome all of us. If you are a visitor in this assembly, uh, maybe at, at some point we may want to acknowledge you. But for now, I want us to open our Bibles from, I mean, the, that's the first Chronicles chapter 11. Upstairs, are you hearing me? If you are hearing, let me see your hand. Very well. We still have problem with echo, but we will trust God to help us. Now, from verse 15, from verse 15, I will read First Chronicles, First Chronicles chapter 11. We read from verse 15. I may want to refer to quite a number of verses in the same chapter. By the way, did you welcome somebody? Turn to somebody and just welcome them. Pastor, welcome. Amen. Right. So, verse 15. Verse 15 says, Three of the thirty chief men, three of the thirty chief men went down to the rock to David at the cave of Adullam when the army of Philistine was encamped in the valley of Rephaim. David was then in the stronghold and the garrison of the Philistine was then at Bethlehem. And David said longingly, Oh, that someone would give me water to drink from the well of Bethlehem that is by the gate. Then the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistine and drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and took it and brought it to David. But David would not drink it. He poured it out to the Lord and said, Far be from me before my God that I should do this. Shall I drink the life blood of this man? For at the risk of their lives, they brought it. Therefore, he would not drink it. These things did the three mighty men. Nasema, tena watatu miongoni ya 
mwa wale 30 waliokuwa wakuu wakashuka mwambani wakamwendea Daudi hata pando pango la Adalamu na jeshi ya Wafilisti waliokuwa wamefanya kambi bondeni mwa Warefai na Daudi wakati ule alikuwa ngomeni na walinzi wa Wafilisti wakati ule walikuwa huko Betlehemu naye Daudi akatamani akasema laiti mtu angenyonywa shamazi ya kisima cha Betlehemu kilicho karibu na lango basi hao watatu wakapenya jeshi la Wafilisti wakateka maji kutoka kile kisima cha Betlehemu kilicho karibu na lango wakayachukua wakamletea Daudi walakini Daudi hakukubali kuyanywa akaya mimina mbele za Bwana akasema Mungu wangu apishe mbali nisifanye hivi je ninywe damu ya watu hao waliohatarisha nafsi zao maana kwa hatari ya nafsi zao wakayaleta kwa hiyo hakukubali kuyanywa hayo ndiyo waliyofanya wale mashujaa watatu now for about one month i've been thinking about this basi kwa karibu mwezi mmoja nimekuwa nikiafikiria haya mambo something dropped into my spirit about david's mighty men kuna jambo lingine ambalo lilijia nafsi yangu kuhusu hao washujaa wakuu wa Daudi and maybe what i want to mention here is that first chronicles majors on the reign of david na tena jambo ningependa kutaja ni kwamba mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza inaangazia hasa ile wakati Daudi alikuwa anatawala well it acknowledges that david had faults had problems had issues when you read in chapter 13 and uh, somewhere in chapter 21 it acknowledges the faults the, the the problems the the challenges that david had but does not detail the major failures and the troubles as recorded in other books like samuel na iki kitabu pia kinaangazia na kinatambua ya kwamba kulikuwa na udhaifu au makosa ambayo Daudi alifanya. Ijapokuwa hayaziangazia hayo makosa sana kwa undani jinsi na vile inaangaziwa katika Samueli wa kwanza. So chronicles that not major on the shortcomings of David like we read in uh, the book of Samuel. Basi mambo ya nyakati hayaangazii sana udhaifu wa Daudi jinsi na vile tunavyosoma katika Samueli wa kwanza. Instead Chronicles is interested in establishing the lessons to be learned from David's strength. Lakini nyambo ya nyakati inaangazia sana yale masomo tunayopata kusoma kutokana na ile nguvu au ushindi wa Daudi not so much of his failures sio kwa udhaifu wake au kwa makosa yake so the account of david's reign focuses on two major concerns basi inaangazia ile ushindi wa daudi ikaangalia mambo mawili makuu david's reign ile utawala wa daudi as recorded in this chronicles majors on two main things basi utawala wa daudi jinsi na vile imenakiliwa katika kitabu hiki kinaangazia mambo mawili makuu the first part of first chronicles and mainly chapter 12 chapter 11 and chapter 12 majors on david's great popularity mambo sehemu ya kwanza ya kumbukumbu ya hii mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza hasa ukisoma sura ya 11 na 12 inaangazia sana sana umaarufu wa daudi When you read the second part then majors on preparation for the temple because the temple was to be constructed you read from chapter 13 onwards majors on how he prepared for the construction of the temple na ukisoma sehemu ya pili hiyo ni kuanzia sura ya 13 kuendelea inaangazia maandalizi kwa sababu ya kujenga ile hekalu ya Daudi You're hearing me can you say amen? Kama wanisikiza sema amina. So it is also important to mention that during David's time 
Israel expanded and they became great. Na pia ni muhimu kujua kwamba wakati wa utawala wa Daudi, Israel ilipanuka ikawa ni nchi kuu. Israel was united. Walikuwa katika hali ya umoja. And it was a great kingdom. Na ilikuwa ni ni nchi kubwa sana. And the greatness of Israel is attributed to three main factors. Na ukuu wa nchi ama taifa la Israel ilikuwa imetokana kwa sababu ya mambo matatu makubwa. There are three factors that are attributed to the growth or to the greatness of the kingdom of Israel. Kuna mambo makubwa matatu ambayo yalifanya taifa la Israel lilipanuka na kuwa taifa kuu. Chapter 11 verse 1 says Then all Israel gathered together to David at Hebron and said Behold we are your born and the flesh In times past even when Saul was king it was you who led out and brought in Israel and the Lord your God said to you you shall be shepherd over my people Israel and you shall be prince over my people Israel so all the elders look at that verse 3 all the elders of Israel came to the king at Hebron and said and David made a covenant with them at Hebron before the Lord and they anointed David king over Israel according to the word of the Lord by Samuel. Basi 11 sura inasema ndipo Israeli wote wakamkusanyikia Daudi huko Hebroni wakisema tazama sisi tu mfupa wako na nyama wako katika zamani za kale hata hapo Sauli alipokuwa mfalme wewe ndiye ulie watoa na kuwaigiza Israeli naye Bwana Mungu wako akakwambia ndiwe utawalisha watu wangu Israeli ndiwe utawa, uh, utakae kuwa mkuu ya watu wa Israeli basi waze wote wa Israeli wakamchia mfalme huko Hebroni naye Daudi akafanya agano nao huko Hebroni mbele za Bwana nao wakamtia Daudi mafuta awe mfalme wa Israeli sawa sawa na neno la Bwana kwa mkono wa Samueli so among the three things basi katika yale mambo matatu that made the kingdom of Israel great yaliyofanya taifa la Israeli liwe kuu was that Israel gathered around David in great loyalty ni kwa sababu wa Israeli walimkusanyia Daudi wakimtii they were around him walikuwa wamemzunguka and they were loyal to him na walikuwa wanamtii that's what we are seeing in what we have just read hii tunaona kwa kifungu ambacho tumesoma and then number two. jambo la pili david had a strong capital daudi alikuwa amejiandaa vizuri christmas his base his base where he was thrown where he was ruling from it was a stronghold alikuwa na ngome ya msingi mali ambapo alikuwa anatawala verse 4 says and david and all israel went to jerusalem that is jebus where the jebusites were the inhabitants of the land and the inhabitants of jebus said to david you will not come in here nevertheless david took the stronghold of zion that is the city of david David said whoever strikes the Jebusites first shall be chief and a commander and Joab the son of uh, Zuriah went up first so he became chief and uh, David lived in the stronghold therefore it was called the city of David it was a stronghold He made it a stronghold. Alifanya kawa ngome mali ambapo alikuwa anatawala. So David had a strong capital. He had a strong base. He ruled from a strong from from a stronghold from a, a fortified place. Basi Daudi alikuwa na msingi dhabiti. Alikuwa anatawala kutoka pale ngomeni ambao alikuwa 
So number one, we have said the kingdom became great because Israel gathered around David in great loyalty. And second, we are saying David had a strong base, a strong capital. And then the third one, we are saying David had with him many mighty men. Basi tumesema kuna jambo tatu liyofanya Israeli kwa njiku. Jambo la kwanza ni kwamba wana wa Israeli walikuwa wamemzunguka Daudi wakimtii katika hali ya uku. Jambo la pili ni kwamba Daudi alikuwa na msingi thabiti akawa anatawala ngome katika kiwa na kwa pale mali pangome. Na ya tatu ni kwamba alikuwa na watu wengi wa shujaa. He had the mighty men. Alikuwa na wa shujaa wengi. Because you cannot be successful, you cannot be a mighty king unless you have mighty men around you. Ni kwa vile uwezi kuwa umefanikiwa kama mkuu wa nchi kama hautakuwa na wanajeshi wengi ambao wanakuzingira. So the mighty men according to Chronicles basi hao wanajeshi kulingana na mambo ya nyakati tells us the story of a time I mean, this, this Chronicles tells us of a story of a time when another three of the 30 chief men went down to the rock and the rock where David was, the rock at Adulam. Basi tunambiwa kwamba kulikuwa na watu watatu miongoni na watu thelathini wakubwa amba walienda pale awaramu. David was at Adulam. Dawidi alikuwa Adulam. And he was resting in a rock. So this man went to him in that rock, a place called Adulam. And the Philistine army was not far away. The camp of the army was not far away. Three of the thirty chief men went down to the rock to David at the cave of Adullam when the army of Philistine was camping in the valley of Rephaim. It was not far away from there. Tena watatu miongoni mwa wale thelathini waliokuwa waku wakashuka muambani wakamwendea Daudi hata pango la Adulamu na jeshi la Wafilisti walikuwa wamefanya kambi bondeni mwa Warefai yani ilikuwa karibu na hapo Church praise the Lord Bwana asifiwe kanisa Everybody's hearing Je kila mtu Are you following na, ta, Come on yeah. are you following me Je tunaenda tuko pamoja I want you to follow to follow this account closely Nataka ufuatilie kwa umakini sana haya mambo Now I want you to note something here. It was very hot at that time. It was hot and David somehow said something. He was not commanding. He was not addressing anyone in particular. Akafikiria na kataja jambo fulani Sio kwamba alikuwa anamurisha Ama alikuwa napeana magizo fulani Aliwaza tu You know when it is hot Unajewa kati kuna kiangazi au joto And you are just relaxed Na wewe umetulia And there are some people around you Na pia kuna watu amba wame kuzunguka And he just said Na akasema Oh That someone would give me water to drink from the well of Bethlehem that is by the gate. Akasema laiti mtu angenipa maji ni ya kunye, maji kutoka ile kisima ya Bethlehemu liyeko karibu na lango. He longed for water. It was so hot and as such David was thirsty. Kulikuwa na joto na basi Dawudi akasikia kiu akatamani maji. Have you been in a situation where you are very thirsty? Je, ushai fika kiwango ambapo una kiu sana. Now it is cold. Not many people would be thirsty in time like this. Saizi kuna baridi si watu wengi wata hisi kiu. But I want you to imagine a situation where it is very hot. Lakini yebu tafakari wakati kuna kiangazi na joto jingi. And you have not taken water since morning. Na uja kunyu wa maji kutoka subuhi. And you are feeling that you could get some water. 
And David felt like he could get some water. Oh, that someone would give me water to drink from the well of Bethlehem that is by the gate. And not just from anywhere else. He wanted water from Bethlehem that is by the gate. David's mighty men had him. They had their master longing for water, but water from Bethlehem, from the well of Bethlehem, that is by the gate. Now, where David was and the well of Bethlehem that is by the gate in between was the camp of the Philistine. And the man of God is longing for the water which is Beyond the camp of the Philistine, the Philistines were not friends. The Philistines were not their brothers. The Philistines were their arch enemies. Tumishi wa Mungu akatamani maji iliyoko nyuma ya wale kambi ile kambi wa Filisti. Na wa Filisti hawakuwa ni marafiki zao au mandugu zao. Hao walikuwa ni adui adui yao mkubwa. Can somebody say amen? Mtu aseme amina. And David's mighty men had him and took it as a challenge. The Bible says in verse 18, Then the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines and they drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and they took it and they brought it to David. And the three men had their master longing for water which was across and going there there was no any other way you have to go through that valley of Rephaim. And the army, the, the Philistine army is camped there ready to fight with the Israel. And the three men took up the challenge and they went out to get water for their master. And the Bible says then the three mighty men broke through the camp. They went through the camp. How do you go through the camp of the enemy? They went through and got some water and came back and offered the water to their master. Can you say mighty men of David? <laughs> Can you say mighty men of David? They brought the water. How do you go through the enemy? 
nani unaezaje kupenya kambi ya adui a fortified army ile jeshi ambalo alikuwa na ngome a mighty army of the philistine walikuwa ni wanajeshi wakuu wa wafilisti and you are only three na nyinyi ni watu watatu peke yake how do you do that inawezekanaje if not committing suicide kama sio ni kama ni kama kujiua The story is told This very story is told to show how much David's men loved him. Hii hadithi imenakiliwa ili tuonyesha jinsi na vile hao wanajeshi wa Daudi walivyompenda. They love him to an extent that they are ready to die. Walimpenda kiasi kwamba walikuwa tayari kufa kwa ajili yake. How they loved him and how much He inspired them to great deeds of heroism. Walimpenda nao wakawaongoza wakafanya mambo makuu ya ushujaa. He inspired them. Yeye ndiye aliwaelekeza to do great things. Kuyafanya mambo makuu. Now, they brought the water. Walialeta maji. And I want you to see something very critical here. They brought the water. But David showed his men immediately that he would not take needless risk with the lives of his men. Let's read it verse 18 And the three mighty men broke through the camp of the Philistines and they drew water out of the well of Bethlehem that was by the gate and they took it and they brought it to David but there is the word but your bible should have the word but lakini But David would not drink it. Lakini Daudi hakukubali kuyanywa. David would not drink it. Daudi hakukubali kuyanywa. Instead he poured it out to the Lord. Akayamimina mbele za Bwana. Oh shalaba kashilaba. He poured it out to the Lord and said. Akayamimina mbele za Bwana akisema, Far be it from me before my god that i should do this shall i drink the life blood of this man shall i drink the life blood of this man for at the risk of their lives they brought it therefore he would not drink it these things did the three mighty men basi daudi akasema mungu wangu apishe mbali nisifanye hivi je ninywe damu ya watu hao waliowatarisha nafsi zao maana kwa hatari ya nafsi zao wameyaleta kwa hiyo hakukubali kuyanywa hayo ndiyo waliyoyafanya wale mashujaa watatu the men have brought the water wale watu wameleta maji They broke through the camp of the Philistine. Walialeta wakipitia kambi ya Wafilisti. Endangered their lives. Pia wakatatarisha maisha yao. And they brought water. Wakaleta maji. And they gave it to their master who was thirsty. Wakapia bwana yao ambaye alikuwa na kiu. And David looked at what happened. Daudi akatazama yale mambo yaliyofanyika. He got challenged. Akahisi changamoto. These men took a step that could take away their lives. And David says, far from it, I will not drink the life blood of this man. Instead, 
I will offer it as a sacrifice. Oh, shalanamboshitalava. He is very thirsty. Anakiu. And you've been thirsty, you know how it means to be thirsty. He longed for water. He longed for water. And his men took the challenge. But the challenge that this man took was deadly. It was as good as committing suicide. Then they brought the water. David looking at that side far from him. I will not take this water. They have sacrificed. I will sacrifice as well. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Can you say mighty man of David? Can you say again, mighty man of David? So, if he had drunk the water, the same thing might have happened again. The man would have gone back again to bring the water. But David did not want to put the lives of his men in danger again. He offered that, that water. Still he never threw the water away. It would show that he was not grateful for what happened. During the time of sacrifice, he took the water so precious and offered to God. He offered to God. When he poured out water for God, it was as a sign that he was willing to pour out his life. His able to pour out his life in service to God. As the men sacrificed their lives, David also sacrificed. Coming to a place where you sacrifice. Coming to a place where you are offering all that you have. David did not, you are not seeing him commanding the three men to go and bring water. We are seeing the three men giving themselves church praise the Lord are you hearing me those listening out there the Facebook and the YouTube I want you to follow us closely because this is key if you have to serve God in a supernatural way 
kwa vile haya mambo ni muhimu sana ili upate kumtumikia Mungu kwa njia ya kiungo listen two Sisa. more mighty men come in for mention here one is called abishai kuna wengine wawili wana washujaa wakuu wanatajwa tena mmoja anaitwa abishai Abishai was a skillful warrior and became the commander of 30 of David's best troops. Abishai alikuwa ni mtaalamu mkuu na alikuwa mmoja wa wanajeshi wakuu wa ile kundi la Daudi. Verse 20. Haya 20. And then verse 22 we have Benaya. Na mstari wa 12 tunaye yule Benaya. Benaya the son of Jehoada was a valiant man. Yeye alikuwa mwana wa Yohadi na alikuwa ni mtu hodari sana. He was brave and determined. Alikuwa ni mtu hodari, mwenye mshujaa. So you don't just become great. Sasa uwezi kuwa tu mtu mkuu. You must be brave. You must be brave. Lazima uwe mtu hodari and you must be determined as per the will of god na lazima ufuatilie kulingana na mapenzi ya mungu it is recorded that he was a doer of great deeds imenakiliwa ya kwamba naye alifanya mambo makuu and benaiah the son of jehoada was a valiant man of cab zeal a doer of great deeds Nasema ya kwamba tena Benaya mwana wa Yohadi mtu hodari wa Kabiseli alikuwa amefanya mambo makuu. What did he do? Alifanya nini? He struck down two heroes of Moab. Aliwaua simba wakali wawili wa Moab. Two heroes. Mashujaa wawili. One man mtu moja. Brought them down. Aliwaua. He also won a name Rather, he also struck down a lion na pia aliua simba and he also won a name for himself na pia akajitia jina and he was famous among the 30 of David's best soldiers na alikuwa maarufu sana miongoni na wale watu 30 he was the, he was the leader of david's bodyguards alikuwa kiongozi ya wale wanyonge wa daudi there were other mighty warriors as you read from verse 26 to verse 47 pia kulikuwa na wengine wakubwa ukisoma kutoka haa 26 na 27 so i i want to i want to ask a question basi ningependa kukuuliza swali i want to ask a question ningependa kukuuliza swali church are you listening i want to ask you a question je wasikia ningependa kukuuliza swali friends everywhere this is the question hili ndilo swali what makes a person great nini inafanya mtu akuwe shujaa what makes a person great nini inakufanya ukuwe shujaa we are seeing is recorded this were the great men of david tumeona imenakiliwa kwamba hawa ndio walikuwa shujaa wakuu wa daudi you have an answer che unajibu what is it that will make you great ni nini itakufanya ukuwe shujaa to be a valiant warrior in the kingdom of god ukuwe mtu hodari katika ufalme wa mbinguni I will tell you. Takwambia. Number one. Jambo la kwanza. This will make you great. Hii itakufanya uwe shujaa. Love of the king. Kumpenda mfalme. Love of the king. Kumpenda mfalme. It is very clear that David's men loved him. Ni dhahiri ya kwamba wanajeshi wa Daudi walimpenda. They loved him to death. Walimpenda hata na maisha yao. And they admired him tremendously. Na pia walimtazama kama kielezo. And in a situation like this what makes a Christian great? Na katika hali kama hii ni nini anafanya Mkristo hawe hodari? What is it that will lead to obedience and the worship 
and zeal for God. That will make you great. It is not the will power. It is not the great promises that we have. It is love of our David. Love of our David, our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of our King will make us great. We are loving Him. And what is and we are saying here, we are loving Him and what He is to us. What is it that leads us to love Him? We will do so when we see what our king has done. What our king has done. He's not a ruthless king. He's not a dictator. Yes, dictator. He's not a person who puts a heavy, heavy demands on us. In fact, he says his yoke is easy. He loves us. And when we see how much he has done for us, and how much he is willing to do for us, when we see his unconditional love for us. Jesus' love is unconditional. Hallelujah. Amen. Just come to him as you are. Unconditional love. Especially while he was on earth we see how he suffered for us. He suffered for us. The love for the king will make you great. David's men loved him that they were able to do anything to show their love. What is it that you can do to show your love for our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Lord is not in the cave of Adulam. We don't have the physical Philistines. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Think about it. Number two. What makes a person so mighty? Number one we have seen is the love of the king. Number two. I would think it is prayerfulness. Prayerfulness. It is no longer a matter of physical strength. It is not the physical strength like in the Old Testament. Listen, it is not by might, it's not by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. It's not by might in whichever area. Whether it is in a, whether it is in wealth, it is not that way. Whether it is in education, that is not making one great. It's not by might. It's 
So it is no longer a matter of physical strength. Basi, siyo mambo ya nguvu za kimwili. Or the ability to throw a spear with energy and skill. Au nguvu ya kurusha ile mshale kwa nguvu na kwa uhodari. I think a Christian strength would be equivalent of throwing a spear is prayer. Nguvu za Mkristo ni ile ya kutupa mshale kwa maombi. It's recorded that Joshua Bim verse 11 was known for a time when he wielded his spear and by doing that with such energy and a skill that 300 men were killed in the battle. Nasema kwamba Yeshobeen mkohani mkuu wa Makida huyo aliua mkuki wake juu ya watu 300 akawaua pamoja. Those days it was the spear. Wakati huo ilikuwa ni mkuki. But look at Elijah. Nitazama Elijah. He was known for praying. Ye alikuwa anajulikana kwa maombi. With such passion and power. Akiwa na nguvu na kimaanisha. That it stopped raining for three years. Ili kukawa na kiangazi miaka tatu. Just said it. Alisema tu. And it was taken for three years there was no rain by his word church praise the lord and prayer is not something you beg somebody to give you prayer is not something someone can take away from you. You have it. You have the prayer. You can pray anytime you want. You can pray in the morning. You can pray on motion moving. You can wake up at midnight and pray. You can pray anytime. It's a weapon that no one can take away from us. It's the only it's a weapon that you can use anytime. A very powerful weapon. Perhaps we might be known in heaven for praying in such a way with faith and in the blood of Jesus Christ. With that kind of life that God honors. That your prayers alone. You kneel down to pray. And 300 men come to the Lord. Church, we are all taking the challenge. Our love for our king. How we connect to our God by prayer. Things happen when we pray. Mambo yanafanyika tunapoomba. Things happen when we love our king. Mambo yanafanyika tunapompenda mfalme wetu. Number 3. Jambo la tatu. What makes a person to be mighty? Kile ambacho inafanya mtu awe shujaa. Courage. Uhodari au shujaa. Despite opposition, you have the courage. Hata kama kuna pingamizi Despite what is going on in your life, despite the challenges, despite the needs that you are having, 
Despite the Philistines who are just next. Hata kama kuna wafilisti karibu na wewe. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are just right at the just a few meters away. Wako tu karibu na wewe. Despite the Philistines. Hata kama kuna wafilisti. We must go across to get to water for our king. Lazima tupenye tukayateke maji. We must go out. Lazima tupenye. Courage. Godari. For we were not given spirit of fear but spirit of power and of love and of sound mind. Kwa tukupa roho ya kutuofia bali ya nguvu na ya uweza na kuwa na akili timamu. Arise in courage. Katika ujasiri. Arise in courage. Inuka kwa ujasiri. Eliza Eliza showed his military skill in being willing and able to stand his ground when large numbers were against him Eliza alionyesha udari wake wa kijeshi wakati alisimama na kupigana na ile watu wengi And next to him was 12 Among the three mighty men was Eliezer the son of Dodo. Nasema kulikuwa na Eliezer mwana wa Dodai. The height he was with David at Pas Damin when the Philistines were gathered there for battle. There was a plot of ground full of barley and the men fled from the Philistines but he took his stand in the midst of the plot and they defended it and they killed the Philistines and the Lord saved them by a great victory Huyo alikuwa mmoja wa Daudi huko pendamini ndiko wa Filisti waliokusanyika vitani palikuwa na konde limejaa shayeri na hao watu wakakimbia mbele za wa Filisti ndipo hao wakasimama katikati ya konde lile wakalipigania wakawaua wa Filisti naye bwana akafanya wokovu mkuu you are not waiting for others hautakuwa unangojea wengine you are not waiting for other great men to come so that you can break through the camp of the philistines hautakuwa unangoja wengine wakubwa kuje ndio ukapenye kambi ya wa Filisti you are not waiting for other people to start then you can follow you will not be great you will not be great that way when there is a challenge arise take up your position you are a soldier and you have your position stand in your position take up the challenge Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It reminds me of a story. Sometimes I think in 60s. The Israelis on a Saturday they were observing their Sabbath and everybody was at home including the the, the, the army. Wa Israeli wakawa wanazingatia Sabato siku ya Jumamosi and three kings three countries great arab countries had planned to attack israel when they have put their tools down when they are praying na mataifa matatu walipanga kupiga israeli wakati walikuwa wameweka silaha zao zote chini wakiwa sabato five nations mataifa matano five nations mataifa matano with all their tanks wakiwa na ile vitu vyao vyote vya kijeshi They are might they want to pull down Israel and get rid of them. Wakasema wataka kuangamiza Israeli. They attacked. Waliajaribu kupiga Israel. The army they were not in the camp they had gone to observe their Sabbath. Wanajeshi walikuwa wameenda kuzingatia Sabato. Hawakuwa kwenye jeshi. There was only one. Kulikuwa na mtu mmoja tu. Yom Kippur, just one. Mtu mmoja tu. 
who was at the camp he took a tanker he fired as they fired against five nations and as he fired it was like the whole army of Israel were firing five nations against one man those five nations were beaten hands down this one man took over Golan Heights for the nation of Israel. You never know. You could be the one God wants to use. And you want to look at so and so. And you want to depend on so and so. Don't do that. Take up the challenge. Take up the challenge. Eliezer took his stand. In the midst of the crowd of enemies until the Lord saved him with a great victory. So greatness is standing for God regardless of opposition. Regardless of opposition. Regardless of your needs. Standing with the Lord. Oh, standing with the Lord. Standing with the Lord. How I wish we could see this. Your greatness will emerge as you take courage and stand with the Lord. A Christian will always have opposition. You will always have the needs around. The worst will not come from flesh and blood. But against spiritual forces of evil in high places. A great Christian is one who can withstand temptations who can put down mighty enemies such as and these things seem to be simple but they are terrible such as pride self-centeredness and the love of praise praise when you are able to conquer this, you live as though that you ought to live with courage. Because the enemies of the Christian life are there. They are real. And they are powerful. But we cannot do it in our own power. It's not by might. It's not by power. But by my spirit, says the Lord. We learn to be strong in the Lord and in the strength or in the power of his might. And to put, and to put on an armor that God gives us then we stand against the schemes of the devil to entice us into sin and into discouragement and waywardness. That is greatness. That is greatness. The last one. What makes 
a person to be great. Nini nafanya mtu akuwe shujaa? What is it? Nini nini? Having the gift of encouragement. Kuwa na kipawa cha kuhimiza. Abishai was not only a skillful warrior, he also became a leader of David's best troops. Abishai akuwa tu mtu muhodari, bali pia alikuwa kiongozi wa ile wanajeshi wakuu wa Daudi. This is a mighty man. He is able to inspire others. Huyu ni mtu hodari ambaye hangeweza kuwa kielezo vyema. A great man. Mtu mkuu. Is one who is able to inspire others. Yule ambaye hangeweza kuwa kielezo kwa wengine. Don't just pull people down. Sio mtu wa kuzusha watu chini. Don't just discourage people. Sio mtu wa kuvunja watu moyo. Inspire someone. Wewe kuwa kielezo kwa wengine. Even if you are seeing a challenge in their lives inspire them pick up what is positive in their lives tell them let them know speak in their lives you will be mighty encouraging others not just by making them feel good but by leading them into action leading them into action praise the lord we have the Kimuk, we have the Ewasokedong project Some people may just think this is just one of another project that the eldership has come up with. This could be this could just be something that would blow up your faith. And bring you to a place of greatness. What makes a person to be great? Nini nafanya mtu awe shuja? Benaya was a doer of great deeds. Na lazima kuwe mtu akufanya mambo makubwa. Great deeds. Mambo makubwa. Great is relevant. Whatever brings out your faith, that's a great thing. Ukuu inalingana. Kile ambacho inafanya imani yako inuke, hilo ni jambo kuu. And you can never say I'm a great man. Uwezi kusema mimi ni mtu mkuu. It's only other people who can acknowledge your greatness. God has good deeds which he has prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. Whatever we are doing must be in the will of God. So some people may just feel so bad they may sit somewhere and they feel like i will never be a great person don't don't do that it's not right it's not wise as a christian it's not wise Take it, I mean, I would consider that abomination. Because if you have Christ in you, and the Christ is great, then how would you feel like you are nothing and you can amount to nothing and you cannot do any great thing? Don't do that. Usifanye hivyo. It's no longer it no longer takes the great physical strength. Sikuizi haigarimu nguvu za kawaida za kimwili. To be a great soldier. Ili kuwe hodari. It only takes persistent faith. Inagarimu ile imani ya kuinuka. Persistent faith. Ile imani ya kila wakati in a great savior 
Love him. Love him. Love the king. Love him. Pray. Pray. Be connected with him. Love him. It only takes a faith and the knowledge of God's will and nothing will be impossible. I want to declare today I want to declare to you today I decree to you today as you love Jesus Hallelujah as you love Jesus you will be great as you engage in prayers, you will be great. As you take courage and going against the Philistines of opposition in your life, you will be great. As you engage the gift of encouragement, you will be great. As you do great things, you will be great. Stand on your feet. I challenge you today. Take a step that you have never taken before. And we put before you things that would cause you to be great. Some of the, because the, our greatness now must be in line with the will of God. Some projects that we are putting before you, they are not personal. They are not personal projects. These are projects that speak things into the community. They are things that would help to expand the kingdom of God. In the church, there are different departments. You want to join the worship team? Come and join the worship team. But then, if you can play lead guitar and you can play rhythm guitar, I want to see you. Because we have the rhythm guitar we are not playing. We have the lead guitar we are not playing. You can be great. You can be great. And I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You can be great. Great David's great man, mighty man. Don't hold it anymore. Father, I want to thank you for your message today. Baba Nigependa Kushkuru Kojimba Kusikuele. How you have inspired us by your word. May you convict us and may you disturb us and may we be stirred up like, the, like David's mighty men.
that we are able to break through the camp of the Philistine. We are able to break through our fears. We are able to break through the opposition. We are able to put our faith to test. We are able to sacrifice. The three men who sacrificed themselves to bring water for David. And David also did not even drink the water, he also sacrificed. Help us, Lord. We don't want to remain just people who are of no consequence. People who cannot make a move for you. May our love for Christ stir us up to greater things. May our prayerfulness be like a spear that is delivered in strength and power and skillfully. Wacha maombi yetu yawe ni kama mkuki ambao umetupwa kwa nguvu na kwa njia ya hodari. May our courage be that which can stand anything that which can break through a wall and go beyond and do great things for you. Wacha ujasiri wetu iwe ni kuu ya kustahimili kila kitu na kuvunja ukuta na kuenda kufanya mambo makuu kwa sababu yako. We are before you. Tuko mbele zako. We long to be mighty men of God. Not just by word, but by action. We will move in action. We will move in action. Help us, Lord, that we may do exploits for you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Can you say thank you, Lord? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Singers, can you come and sing one? Can you repeat this? Can you say, Father, help me to be a mighty man, woman. If you are a woman, say a woman to be, if you are a man, say a man to be a mighty man in the spirit doing your will not my will but your will be done. Help me Lord that I may do great exploits. Your word says them that know their God shall be strong and shall do exploits for their God. I will do exploit in Jesus name. Everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Can you say I will do exploit? Amen. Are you challenged? Are you ready to take a step of sacrifice? Take a step of sacrifice. And you will be a great man of God. You will be a mighty woman of God. And you will not just be an ordinary person. You will reach nations for God. Hallelujah. You will break through the camps of the enemy. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. You have another, one song you want us to sing? Which one do you which one is there? Okay, yes, yes. Yes, Joe. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Bwana. Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Bwana. Wa baraka. Wa baraka.
praise the Lord. You can decide to be a mighty, mighty woman of God, man of God. And it is not you to say, I'm the mighty man of God. No. Let others see your mightiness. Take your seats. Amen. So, we will be finishing here. But we want our deacon to come and finish for us. Prepare your offerings. Your offerings and your tithes. Do, do we have a Florence... Florence Omulama, Florence, is she around? You are there, lift up your hand. 